The Orbiter was designed, basically, to be a delivery van. A very expensive, very technologically advanced delivery van. Its job is to deliver things into space. So far, it's put satellites, telescopes, and most of the International Space Station up there. But you can't just pop open the back and pull out your cargo, especially when it's likely to be a satellite. Chunk of space station. Not the easiest objects to move, and quite expensive if you drop something. So every shuttle cargo bay is armed with a helping hand. Back on Earth, NASA has a full-scale replica of the shuttle's cargo bay. Even if the astronauts could physically lift and manhandle the cargo, spacewalking is very dangerous. So NASA turned to robots for help, specifically a robot arm called the Canada Arm, built by those famous space scientists, the Canadians. They faced a real problem. How do you grab hold of something in space without accidentally knocking it across the galaxy? The answer was found in a camera lens. Camera lenses, just like our eyes, have irises in them that control the amount of light allowed through the lens. In a camera lens, they're made up of a series of interlocking metal plates, which, when twisted, change the size of the aperture or hole in the middle. But how did this end up on the Canada arm on board the space shuttle? The first designs for the Canada gripped objects much like a hand would. But engineers quickly realized that there was a fundamental problem. The smallest of accidental nudges could send any cargo hurtling off. There's no air resistance in space, so when something starts moving, it doesn't stop. For some reason, NASA wouldn't let me play with their hundred million dollar arm in orbit. So, to find out just how big a problem this really is, I've asked Neil Billingham to introduce me to one of his robots. Can I move it like yes, that? Yeah. So that's forward. Ooh, it's faintly spooky. What I'm doing is pretty much what shuttle astronauts have to do in space. And I'm beginning to get the hang of it. See if I can scratch my nose a bit. <laughs> it's annoying. <laughs> it's the best thing I've ever played with. It's mega! On Earth, the claw on the end can open and close, making it a perfect tool for grabbing things. I'll close the gripper, and then the other one will open it. I'm glad I didn't do that when my nose was in it. So this claw arrangement here, clearly a very useful multi-purpose device here on Earth. How would it work in space? Well, we can find out, because I've constructed here my very own satellite. The helium balloon does behave a bit like a weightless satellite in space. So it's very hard to grab hold of. And I'm not just making this up. Peter Stibrani is a Canadarm expert. OK, so it's in position and I'm going to go for a grip. Well, that's not worked at all. That's also given it a little bit of a shove. I presume in space that would be really bad news, wouldn't it? Certainly, you could, you could push, push your target away from you. And if we were in space, that would have just kept going. One wrong move on the real 15-metre long arm, and I could send millions of dollars' worth of satellite racing out of reach. Somebody would be cross. NASA needed a new way to grab hold of things in space. One with 100% accuracy. Then one of the engineers working on the robot arm had a eureka moment. A keen photographer, his inspiration was the camera iris. And I have a mini version of what he helped design to go into space. Like a camera iris, it rotates, but instead of interlocking plates, it has three wires that close in. And almost straight away, I've captured what it is I'm after. I reckon... There's my space telescope. Cool, it took me seconds to do it. Why is it so much easier with that than it was with just an ordinary grab? The initial volume that, that, that it can grab is very large. So all you have to do is make sure that your target is uh, somewhere in there. 
and you don't have to do a lot of alignment. Once locked tight, astronauts can easily maneuver a chosen satellite. Thanks to a simple camera iris, the Canadarm is now a vital part of all shuttle missions.